it depends on what kind of amino acids. Uh, the uh, cysteine, tryptophan, and methionine are the ones that most easily promote uh, cancer growth and development. But uh, glutamine and uh, uh, several of the uh, easily uh, metabolized uh, uh, amino acids are the ones that uh, fuel the production of, of lactate even when uh, glucose is uh, uh, not available or, or is, is uh, currently being depleted. So uh, the stress that lactic acid reinforces uh, turns on cortisol production and other stress signals that uh, break down, shift the balance away from protein sy synthesis to protein uh, breakdown, uh, providing amino acids. Uh, also, uh, fatty acids c come into the bloodstream under the same stress conditions. And uh, if those are uh, polyunsaturated, uh, that adds to the prostaglandin inflammation promotion. And uh, the stress hormones, cortisol, and the prostaglandins uh, uh, accelerate uh, both the inflammation and the conversion of the tissues to food. Um, uh, there uh, have been uh, several types of experiments in which uh, cancer growth can be slowed down by uh, giving intravenous glucose. Uh, the, the Russian researcher uh, who was, uh, he began uh, working on the uh, Pasteur effect, uh, probably was aware of St. George's thinking in the 1940s. Uh, some of his research involved giving uh, good doses of glucose, either uh, intravenously or orally. And uh, with the use of intravenous uh, glucose and um, uh, a higher provision of, of oxygen, uh, the uh, Ehrlich ascites carcinoma, uh, he found, could be reverted to normal metabolism. Uh, the, the classical example of a, of a cell that is in the uh, Warburg effect of making too much lactic acid, giving it as much sugar and oxygen as possible, uh, caused it to revert to normal metabolism.